In this, there is no room for machines that would displace human labor and that would concentrate power in the hands of a few. Gandhi, July 28, 1946. This is the mature Gandhi uh, unfolding two of the important principles in his economics. Gandhian economics, is a book on this by Dewan and Lutz and many others, is such a useful contribution to modern civilization. They're just being picked up in pieces here and there. And here he is showing that he was not what we call a Luddite. He was not against machinery, but he did not want machinery to replace humanity. And that's where we lose our discrimination and we let the technology and the machinery take over and, and dictate what we should be building and how. And wherever in the world, like for example, in Swedish auto factories, I understand, uh, human beings are allowed to be at the center. You can have mass production without dehumanization. But ultimately what he wanted was production by the masses, not mass production. The late E.F. Schumacher was a wonderful exponent of Gandhi's economics. He has a book called Buddhist Economics, which uh, deals also very well with the basic Gandhian principles. Gandhian economics is so simple. I mean, two or three basic considerations like uh, trusteeship and localism enable you to build a whole far more just and far more equitable system. <laughs>